Gave a stand-up club. He started the whole thing, and I think he's set up and ready to go. Please put your hands together for Drew Hansen, everybody. You can tell that we have lots of funds to run this club, can't you? wildfires. I don't know exactly which organization it's going to go towards, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to be dealing with cremation services. It's okay. You can laugh at that one. I see lots of uncomfortable faces. That generally is the effect that I have on people. How many first years do we have tonight? First years? A couple? Second years? Second years? None! Nice. Third years? All, a couple? Yeah. Fourth years. Fourth years. And then it looks like a whole bunch of people that are too nervous to raise their hand. All right. Well, I am a fourth year. I was told that I look like I'm 17, which apparently doesn't hold up in court. Here's my impersonation of a child rapist. Am I going to go and time out? It's a child right? <laughs> You seem to really like that one. <laughs> Maybe you can like relate to it. <laughs> it's really hard to get advice on how to kill yourself. Everyone I ask is clearly bad at it. I recently found out that I have parasitic worms in my intestines. This is a true story. On the bright side, at least I know that I'm not alone now. But I cook my own meals. Yeah, the parasites haven't left yet. So I'm assuming I'm a good host. <laughs> Anyone else here ever been beaten by your significant other at video games? <laughs> I was in an abusive relationship for two years, waiting and waiting and waiting for things to get better. And it just took too fucking long for her to get up after I hit her. That one's a crowd pleaser. <laughs> I, early October, I dumped my girlfriend. It's kind of bittersweet because I'm never going to see her face again since I don't buy milk cartons. I used to have a black girlfriend. Well, after the house fire. I dumped her. I don't remember which river. I hear lots of uncomfortable laughter. I see lots of awkward white people face. Even on people that aren't white. I just wanted to make sure that you're aware that that's cultural appropriation. <laughs> A lot of people think that all of the jokes I say are true. Really? You think that I can cook? <laughs> One of my friends, I called him up because I needed help burying a body. And he shows up with a bunch of soil. It's not really the gift, it's more the sediment that counts. I've got this fur coat, as you can hopefully see. And this chick walks up to me and she says, you know, an animal had to die so that you can wear that. And I said, no, 
They got it at a thrift store. It's a rescue. <laughs> they call it the Pussy Slayer. Because it's made of dead cats. Anyone here ever heard of Blackwater Mercenary Company? Yeah, a few of you maybe. A couple educated people. Well, Blackwater Mercenary Company has changed their name three times for obvious reasons. They keep fucking up. Well, I'm waiting for British Petroleum to change their name to Blackwater. Gun control's a big issue. I've been a gun owner since I was seven. You know how many people I've killed with guns? Zero with guns. <laughs> I went to a whorehouse a couple weeks ago and tried to get a prostitute, but she was out of cervix. <laughs> I settled for an origami girl. I got a paper cunt. <laughs> Looks like I've got a few more feet. In the prison system, ED stands for emotionally disturbed. So I was seeing this chick, and I tell her that I've got ED. And she says, it's okay, we can get over that. And so I have sex with her headless body. This other chick. I know you didn't expect me to walk up here, did you? <laughs> Full of surprises. You're like, who's this Macklemore ripoff? Oh God, he's getting closer. <laughs> Don't worry, this thing does end right there. This is as close as I'll get for now. I'm not like Louis C.K., I promise. I don't even ask. <laughs> well, this chick told me, she said, Flirtatiously. Do you like to try new things? And I said, yes, but I don't like to objectify women. <laughs> Objectifying women, there you go. I went to this counseling group for people who have been affected by firearm suicides. And it was super fucking awkward because no one was comfortable talking because before you spoke, you had to issue a trigger warning. Well, that and most of them had blown their mouths off. If you're trying to get a visual image for that, I want to imagine like the predator without teeth. I recently learned that I was addicted to porn. It's not so much like the sex, I just love making money. My dad gave me a piece of advice to help get me through hard times. He said, Drew, keep on trucking. And that's gotten me through a lot, like my first hit and run. <laughs> I've been single for about a month and a half, and one of my friends like, dude, you gotta get a Tinder. That has gotten me so much material. For example, there are things that a girl can have on her bio that I can't have. For instance, I'm a lover of kids. <laughs> Drew, tell me about yourself. I, I'm a lover of kids. <laughs> it just doesn't sound as charming. I've seen this asexual girl for a while. Right as I'm about to cut things off with her, she tells me, I'm pregnant with your baby. I say, no, you're asexual, it's just yours. <laughs> that joke doesn't work in downtown Sacramento. <laughs> they are not educated like you are. <laughs> you are privileged. <laughs>